wherever you are watching this message, I'm so happy that you have decided to give in your time to watch such a wonderful message. May the Lord bless you so much. Thank you for following me on my Facebook page, Pastor Sevagala Ivan Samuel. And thank you for subscribing. And you who haven't subscribed, please do so on my page and on my Facebook account so that we can move together. May the Lord bless you so much as you listen to this message. Father, bless us as we study your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we've prayed. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for studying with me the word of God. We are living in the most solemn period of this earth's history. The destiny of our lives and those who are around us depends on the course we pursue now. The decisions we decide to take in our lives will impact our future and our destiny. That is why these words always come to us. It is a message of warning and entreaty. It is a message that brings us back to our full understanding of God and His Word. It is a message that inspires our lives to live as God wishes us to live. It is a message that will edify you, not only you, but even all the people around you. So I beg you to share this message so that many other might benefit from such a wonderful message and a timely message. Today, we are going to talk about human depravity. We've talked about many things and we discovered that we are here not by mistake, but by choice. First, God took a decision to create beings in his own image and he created us. Lo and behold, after our creation, we sin against God. These are not legends. These are not riddles. These are not tales. These are not myths. We were created, connected to our Heavenly Father, the source of everything. Romans 17, 28. In Him we live, we move. Actually, Acts 17, 28. In Him we live, in Him we move, and in Him we have our being. When we sinned against God, we were disconnected from the source of life, source of happiness, source of peace, and it is that disconnection from the source of everything uh, that led to human depravity. Now we are rotting. And all of us, when you read the book of Romans, chapter 5, verse 12, Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, so death spread to all men, because all sinned. There is something we have to understand as I started this message. The word is all sin. In the book of Romans, chapter 3, when you read verse 10 to 12, it says, As it is written, None is righteous, not one. No one understands. No one seeks God. All have turned aside. Together they have become worthless. No one does good, not even one. No one does good, not even one. Even those we declare righteous are not good enough before God. Even children are not good enough before God. No one is righteous. All have sinned. Verse 23 in the book of Romans chapter 3. It says, For all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. All have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. My brother and sister, all of us are in one problem, and that problem is sin. And everyone has sinned, 
and everyone is short of the glory of God. Sometimes we bathe, we do rituals, we practice customs of certain religions. Councils sit down and declare people righteous. Others are given names near to righteousness. Reverend, the most holy, whichever the title they give you. The Bible says, from the womb of your mother, you were born a sinner. Psalms chapter 51 verse 5. Psalms chapter 51 verse 5. It says, behold, I was brought forth in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. From the period of conception, the fetus, the zygote, is a sinner being created. We are sinners not because we do bad actions. We are sinners because of our nature. We are sinners by nature not by practice when you read the book of Eph the book of ephesians chapter 2 verse 3 it says among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh carrying out the desires of the body and the mind and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind the entire human race, it is by nature sinful. You are a sinner by nature. Sin is not on your skin. Sin is not in your hands. Sin is not somewhere outside. Sin is inside you. It is in your nature. You were created separated from God. You were created fallen from eternal glory. You are a sinner. Whether you do wrong or you don't, you have the problem and you need a solution. Jesus told the Jews who thought that sin was outside, that washing and bathing ritually and cleansing utensils would bring them righteousness. Jesus told them, come on, wake up. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Jesus says, Mark, Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Jesus says, For from within, out of the heart of man, come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, doubt, and coveting wickedness, deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within. All these things come from within. You are dead from inside. You were born a sinner. You are by nature a child of wrath and sinfulness. Whether you bathe ritually or not, whether you fulfill all your religious requirements or not, I want to assure you, man by nature is a sinner. By nature, he is weak. By nature, he has no hope. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, when you read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 7, you can get something here. Jeremiah, chapter 7, when you read verse 10 and 9, will you still murder, commit adultery, swear falsely? You see, make false accusations. And then you come and stand before me. Even when you, you, you stand before God. But this I do, there is a problem. This is what the Israelites did. They stood before God. They cleansed themselves. They bathed. They washed. They offered sacrifices. They did, they did religious rituals. But they had a problem. They were still sinners before God. They could not be saved by fulfilling religious requirements. We are sinners by nature. We have a problem in us. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9. Let us read that one. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? The heart is sick. 
The heart is deceitful. It is desperately sick. Who can understand it? Mm, verse 10. I, the Lord, search the heart, test the mind, to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his deeds. May the Lord bless you so much. It is only the Lord who can check your heart. It is only the Lord who can give you righteousness. It is only the Lord who can solve the problem of human depravity. Man alone is a fallen. And everyone is a fallen, irrespective of your title, your, your power, whatever things people call you. You are fallen and you need grace of God. You need this God to search your heart and save you. God bless you so much. Thank you for listening. Wait for another part. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. My brother and sister, thank you for watching this message. Thank you for being part of this mission of reaching the entire world with hope, of reaching those who are desperate with the words that will uplift them, that will uphold them, that will empower them, that will strengthen them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening in. Thank you for following me. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the name's Pastor Sevagala Ivan Samuel. For many more summons that will build and edify your life.